Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate averages using Microsoft Excel 2019. So let's open up this folder and I've got this sample spreadsheet. So we used this sample spreadsheet in previous tutorials where we used the auto sum to do calculations to get our grand totals. We did some basic formatting here and added borders and stuff like that. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate averages. So let's just make this column a little bit wider and in here We'll type in averages and we'll make it bold. So really we want to work out what is the average cost over a given period. So this is a 12 month period from January to December and these are our phone costs. So what was the average cost of these total value here? So there's a couple of ways to do this. There's a really easy way, right? So all we can do, we can do something like we can hit the word, uh, the, the letter or the symbol equals so we press equals on our keyboard click on this cell here and we want to divide it by 12 so then we just go up to the formula here and then put the backslash in and type in 12 and then hit enter so 104 pounds and 67 should be our average so that's a manual calculation so let's make this a bit wider and we type in averages manual and then we type in averages auto so we're going to show you how to do that using excel without having to type in the formula but it's worth understanding how that formula works so let's see how excel works that out so we click here and then go to the function tool where we insert function then in this list you're going to see average you're going to see some if statements loads of different types of uh, functions in here but we're going to click on average here average then we're going to click ok and then excel is telling us where do you want to, what do you want to calculate so we're going to click on this cell and we're going to hold down the shift key and then click on this 85 at the bottom. So we're going to highlight this amount of data right here. And then we're just going to click OK. And we get exactly the same figure. So regardless of whether you use the average calculation or you do it manually, you should come up with the same number. And really the, the other way to test it, just to make sure the numbers are correct, is 1,256. So 1,256 divide that by the number of months there's 12 months so let's divide it by 12 and we get 104 6.666 which is then you know excel is going to round it up to 6.7 it's going to take the 6 and round it up to a 7 so this is actually correct these values are here are correct so what we can do is click on this cell here and in theory we should be able to drag it across one like this and we get 25 here so this makes sense, right? There's 25 in every single month, and the average cost of those would be 300 divided by 12, which would equal 25. And then we can drag it across one more time, and we get 3,075. Then we can click here on the auto function and drag that one across, and we'll get 25 and drag it across one more time, and then we get um, uh, 3,075. We can also click here. Uh, actually, we're going to have to do this slightly differently. So we want to calculate the average spend in a given month. So these are average for each one of these columns, but this is the total cost here, right? For each month, uh, we should maybe give it a title like total per month, right? So in this column, we have total per month, but this value here is the grand total of all of these months values. So this month here, this data here in this cell, is the grand total of these three cells, right? We did that in the previous tutorial when we looked at the auto sum function up here. So we want to cal calculate the, the average per month now. So we can click here and uh, let's just see. Yeah, we can click here. In fact, we should be able to just drag this across. We should be able to drag it across and it should be 3,200467. ,200 so let's double check that with a calculator. So we want to do 38,000. 38,456 divided by 12 comes to 302467 when it rounds it up, 302467. So that's correct. And then we can drag this one across and we'll get the same value. Uh, let's cancel that, click here and drag it across. And then you get the same value as well. So when I'm dragging across, effectively what I'm doing is just clicking on this little um, square box in the right hand bottom right hand corner of the cell holding down my left mouse button and dragging across to copy the formula but when you copy formulas across Excel understands that you're working with the data in the new column 
So that's how you calculate averages manually. That's how you calculate them automatically using the auto <coughs> function in here, the average function. So I hope you find that tutorial useful. You can apply that to lots of figures in your spreadsheet. Uh, it doesn't have to be business. It can be on a personal level as well. If you're calculating your personal average spend, maybe for your fuel bill, for example, for your car, you can do loads of different calculations that way. So let's close down this Excel spreadsheet. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.